What's up YouTube? How are you doing? Chana D, your Techno Dad here, and today we're going to check out LG's 4K Ultra High Definition Blu-ray player, the UP970. And we're going to check this out right after the jump. And I'm back. Now, if this is the kind of content you're looking for on YouTube, you should consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell notification so you don't miss a beat. If you're thinking about picking up the LG UP970, go ahead and use my affiliate link down in the description. It gives me a small commission and helps my channel grow. Now that that's out of the way, let's get into it. So most of you guys know, I already have the Oppo UDP203, I have the Sony UBP X800, and I purchased the Samsung M9500, but had to return that because it just wasn't working well. Oh yeah, and I have two Xbox One S's. So with this new LG, I've got five 4K Blu-ray players in the house. I know, I know, it's overkill. But I got this thing for you, just like I got the other TV for you guys, so I can check it out. Now the UP970 has been plagued with very, very loud spinning disc issues. So we're gonna check that out, see if I was one of the lucky ones that didn't get that issue. And we're also gonna check out the Dolby Vision aspect of this player. Since the update happened uh, a couple of weeks ago, I thought, why not pick this up and check it out for you guys? So without further ado, let's go upstairs and see what's in the box. All right, everybody, here we are with the unboxing. All right, well, that looks nice. Here we got Ultra HD Blu-ray, Blu-ray 3D and DVD video. Now let's check this out first. Now we've got a remote that actually has numbers on it. That's cool. Most of the players in this price range do not. Safety information, simple manual. One AAA battery. So from right to left on the front panel, you have a USB port with this plastic cover over it, power button, stop button, play pause, and eject. And all the way on the left-hand side, we have the disc tray. On the back panel, from left to right, we have the power cable, we have LAN port, HDMI 1, HDMI 2, and an optical digital output. All right, everybody, here we are in the bedroom. I have the LG UP970 hooked up to the TCL 55P607. Just hit power on LG. There it is. You see it pop up. Switch to the input. All right, looks like we've connected to the network and we're at this kind of home screen here. Settings, premium, that gives you Netflix, YouTube, music, photo, I would imagine that's for a USB stick, and movie. So let's toss in Despicable Me 2. Bad. All right, let's listen out for this loud spinning disc, shall we? Okay, so it's noticeable. It's noticeably louder than any of the other 4K Blu-ray players. Well, except for maybe the Xbox One S because that one actually is kind of loud. From right now, I don't even think you guys can hear it. Can you guys hear it? Let me hold the microphone up to it. This is, oh. I'm holding the microphone right up to the disc tray here. That's what people are talking about. It, it could be worse. I don't know. This is the first disc, and obviously we have not um, we have not updated our firmware. All right, so let's go home now. I'm not using any kind of like manual or anything. Just just poking around like I would normally do. Here in the menu, we have connection settings under network, display type, resolution auto, display mode 60, language, audio, lock and others okay, so let's go to software and go to update new update was found do you want to update okay all right so we are downloading ladies and gentlemen we're done with the download and now it's almost finished updating we're back on the home screen here so let's toss in despicable me 2 again Oh, 
It just says HDR, it does not say Dolby Vision. This is very strange. Very, very, very strange. All right, so I just located my Power Rangers 4K Blu-ray, which also is Dolby Vision. We're gonna check that out. Let's see what the TV says, shall we? HDR. All right, so I'm gonna have to go on the computer and see if this is an update that I actually have to install into the player. All right, people. So it looks like something happened this week, like in the past, like three, four days. There is no Dolby Vision update for this player. We found out when playing Despicable Me, it just came up HDR10. I played Power Rangers, it came up HDR10. I went poking around on the forums and found two owners threads, one on AV forums and one on AVS forums. It turns out that LG pulled the update because it was causing problems. A user on the AVS forum called LG customer service here in the United States and found out that was the situation. And it looks like they do not have a date in sight for fixing this Dolby Vision update. So as it stands now, September 2nd, 2017, the Oppo UDP203 is still the only 4K Blu-ray player that has Dolby Vision support. Now, what you can do is you can wait this out because, you know, there's a few titles coming out in Dolby Vision next month, but it's still kind of slow. To, to get going and right now if you really want to enjoy Dolby Vision on your TV you know 4k streaming on Voodoo is really just the way to go I know this was gonna be like a great solution for a lot of you out there I think this player only cost me 229 on Amazon it was gonna be great if it had Dolby Vision and if everything worked and as far as the uh, disc humming it was concerned uh, the spinning noise was not at all bad compared to the other videos on YouTube you can, you know, YouTube, LG UP970 noise, and you'll you'll see them. And they're like really loud and really obnoxious and really just like WTF. So in my testing, it, it was just like a low, low level hum. When there was a lot of action going on, you didn't really hear it. When there was some like quiet dialogue, you can kind of notice it. But I would say it's no louder than a PS4 Pro with its fans running at full blast or even Xbox One S with its fans running. It's still way louder than the Oppo UDP203 and still louder than the Sony UBPX800. So basically what's happening now is I'm gonna wrap this guy up and send it back to Amazon because I bought it for Adobe Vision and bought it for you guys to test it out and there's no Adobe Vision. So maybe I'll pick it up next time once uh, Adobe Vision is actually on the player for real and the update is real and everything's worked out. But until then, it's gotta go back. I can buy something else for the channel, right? Sorry guys, this was just kind of a bunk mission. Can't recommend this player just yet. If you're still looking for a really inexpensive 4K Blu-ray player, buy one and make sure you test out the like loud spinning humming noise. And if you're okay with it, keep it. If not, return it, try another one. If that doesn't work, return that too. Or keep it, or I don't, I don't know, it's up to you, man. You know, I watched a couple episodes of Planet Earth 2, and I also watched a little bit of Power Rangers, and Despicable Me, and they all looked great. You know, the player does work, but it just doesn't have Dolby Vision, and we don't know when it's gonna get it. Okay, so that's pretty much it. If you like this video, guys, go ahead, smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel using the button in the middle of your screen. Once again, my name is Chana D, I'm your Techno Dad, and I'll see you next time.